Hello, and we're back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here <coughs> with the bone level case, uh, color-coded yellow, and we now have the jig ready. We're about to take out the the tooth, temporary ab abutment, and temporary crown. And now, now that this material is set, we're going to now slide in our impression coping, and we're actually going to inject in and around that that area. So let's find out. Uh, let's see that. First thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure you got the buckle and the lingual lined up properly. So that's that's important. So again, this is the buckle aspect. That's the lingual. Just double check to make sure. And yes, indeed, that's what it is. So stay oriented. Now imagine if this was without the blue material, you would then just place that in there like so. And you want the thin portion in the interprox, so the thinnest portion in, in between the teeth. Then tighten it down, hand tighten it down to 16, 15 or 16 Newton centimeters. Once we do that, everything is in. I'm going to lower the light now. And we'll get ready for our impression. Now, you know what, I'm going to use, I want to carve a little bit on this lingual, so I'll need a, I'll need to back this out and just carve that a little bit. So let me have a Hollenbach, please. And we have it right here. Let's see if we can just carve this. Actually, what I'll do is just take a hand piece and a burr. Let's just trim that a little bit. There we go. Now that's the cingulum area. I'm just trimming that back a little bit, giving a little more of a depth to it so we can see. We're going to spray air in there, get all that out of there. Okay. Let's put this back in place. And line that up. Perfect. I'll tighten it down. There we go. Now, this is ultra dense blue block out. We're going to go ahead and just fill that around this area as far down as we can. And we want to go all the way to the top. So we'll just keep the tip in there and inject. Very important to keep the tip all the way in there and inject. Okay, and then we'll trim it after it's set. I like to use a, a, a visible light curing unit. Let's see if we can get all this cured in there. Okay, that's it. Now, let's get our LED light. I'll go ahead and cure this and then we'll polish and we'll be back in the mouth in a little bit. See you next time.